Greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome to Concrete Genie. Um, a game that, just based on that uh, initial kind of like poster shot they do uh, when you load up a game on the PS4, reminds me a lot of um, a little bit of, of a very specific... I just said two uh, completely contrasting things. It reminds me a lot about the uh, smaller sections in infamous Last Light. Specifically when you're chasing down the character that has the neon powers. Um, but other than that, I actually don't really know too much about this game. This game was recommended to me by a friend of mine, so I'm going to give it a go. Uh, see what's going on in here. Um, this friend of mine had actually platinum the game. I don't know if I'm going to give it that kind of dedication, but at the very least, I will give it a try, try to beat it, and see what's going on in the world of Concrete Genie. Um, I'll probably not worry about the VR experience, because then that means I'm going to have to dust off the PSVR, or the free painting, which I believe is actually part of the VR experience. Um, so let's go to New... Empty and begin a game. <laughs> Always good times at the old canning factory. Tram house, not quite looking as well as it used to. There were glory days of the Demska tram house and its transit. Oh, hold on. You know, one of the things that, um, w one of my regrets is that I have never really spent, uh, time and effort really learning how to draw. My ash. Dad and I will be late again. Oh, sorry, take it away. Please eat something. Stay, Stay out of, out of Denska. Denska, it's too dangerous. <laughs> sorry, Mom. I'm not kidding. So he's only going to read part of it. Also, I still need to put on subtitles. So I'll try to not talk over him. That is a very pretty transition. Hi, Mrs. Cruz. Ash. <laughs> oh, careful there, Ash. Sorry, Mr. Green. Huh. Is he going? Is he going through, like, an imagined version of Denska that doesn't exist anymore? Oh my god. Ash, it's beautiful. Alright, kiddo, let's head home. And that is Denska before everything started to look like Silent Hill. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh. Is this... ...preparing me for doing stuff in, uh, dreams? Let's give you some color. Uh, do I really have to worry about painting within the lines? Oh, jeez. 
This is... Also, I probably should uh, turn on subtitles when I can. But now is not the time. This will be pure gold. Or, you know, yellow. And... Oh my gosh. On one hand, I'm awful at this. On the other hand, I also enjoy the... The look of the brush strokes on the on the page. Let's go with blue this time. And uh, go kind of. Yeah, it definitely has uh, an interesting, like, blowing style. It kind of mirrors, like, his own, uh, like, the way he draws, too. I don't exactly know how much they're actually expecting me to fill in. You're gonna be something special. You're gonna be... There we go. And under a full moon. I think I'll call you... Luna. You like that? And... Let's do another one on the left. And another one. Interesting how eyes appeared where there was previously none. And, uh, you know, I'm not a very big fan of uh, the PS, the, the motion, using the PS4 controller as a motion controller. Um, I don't consider it necessarily that much more. You're my best one yet. Want to hang out? Um, intuitive. Nice shot. Danny, watch it. Come on, you big baby. I missed you by a mile. That ain't even your slingshot. You took it from my room. Finders keepers. <laughs> Wake up, freak. Oh, what's for lunch, Ash? Mm. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? Your little coloring? Give it back. Come and get it. Right here, B. Ugh. <laughs> I said give it. Ugh. Nope. Uh, uh. The heck? <laughs> Give me that. with the lighthouse ghost. See Don't be scared, Ash. <laughs> yeah, leave it to bullies to be bullies. Um, and there goes all the drawings. All the expertly inked drawings. Hmm. 
So, oh, hold on. Nope, I cannot interrupt this to check, uh, to change the settings. Uh, so I guess I ended up on the tram to Denska anyway, despite my mom telling me not to go. Maybe mom's right. Maybe I shouldn't hang out around here anymore. But I just... It, it still feels like home. There we go. Um... There, and there are subtitles. The camera movement and also the... Keep seeing more and more of it. Like, the animations are very, very fast. Like, unnaturally speedy. Also, purple stuff does not sound like a good thing to be growing around your city. Like... My pages? How did they get all the way over here? That can't be the wind doing that. That cannot be... Earthbound physics doing that. Denska's sad fate. Juvenile delinquents now rule the abandoned fishing village. However, the former Denska sheriff and the former Denska sheriff aide allude to one or more gangs of teenagers who have apparently taken advantage of the situation. Broken windows and graffiti now pepper the abandoned village's landscape. Evidence of the once thriving fishing town's descent into a glorified playground for delinquents. We like to see the vandals move on, but without a tax base, there's no money to pay anyone to protect. In addition to the vandals, there continue to be occasional reports of a ghost or spirits inhabiting the Denska Lighthouse. While never confirmed or proven, the alleged existence of this presence may have contributed to the reluctance of many Denska residents to stay in the village as its economy, blah blah blah, didn't see that stuff happening in the lighthouse until most everyone was gone. But yeah, there was definitely something weird going on in there. Probably still is. Former residents of Denska who have since moved to the mainland expressed frustration that their Old town is being allowed to continue to fall apart, probably. So, okay, so he doesn't live in Denska, but he has fond memories of Denska. And so he always comes back. Fallen logs, platforming, nothing's weirder than that. Chapter 1, The Lighthouse. Oh, specifically where the ghost is supposed to be. I'll just get my pages back, then figure out how to get back to Denska. So that's going to be the way onward, but let's quickly take a walk around, uh, see if we can find anything interesting that we might have to unlock. Some more history of Denska. Uh huh. That seems like it'll be significant. Not now, but soon. Greetings and salutations, folks and spirits of the lighthouse. Ooh. That page, like it has a life of its own. Yeah, this place has definitely seen better days.
There's no ghost. There's no g -g 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 ghost. Ruined. What the? Why, hello, spectral abomination. Which sounds like uh, either a superhero villain or a Power Rangers villain. Luna? Okay, that's not how I imagined you sounding. You know, there's an acceptance of strange purple stuff growing around the city, but there is no acceptance of magic. Hmm. Oh, sorry, and also an acceptance that there's a spirit in the lighthouse. Is a broom really just a large paintbrush? Or is a paintbrush really just a small broom? Whoa, you're in the wall now. You want me to point the brush there? There we go. And there we go. Wow, this might take some getting used to. That was some satisfactory pointing, sir. Those light up. What am I painting? Oh, this is incredible. Hmm. Wait, where are you going now? Uh, all right, how do I? Oh, hello, you're right up there. More of my pages. Let's see how they look on the wall. You want me to paint that? A tulip. Okay. Um, all right, so. Oh. Now let's uh, get rid of that, and now let's okay. draw. Some grass will be nice for you to walk on. Ah, okay. Some plants? Interesting. Sure, why not? <sighs> this game reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it right now. I'll try to figure out what it's... And then... Of course. What kind of campfire would it be without these stars? It would be a starless night. Huh. 
But I definitely like the fact that, like, I'm pretty sure I don't have to do much more than the minimum. Oh, that's the Aurora Borealis. At this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely. Within... This lighthouse. All right, let's put away our paintbrush because unbelievable. I think I'm done with that painting. What are you? Just a splotch of paint? Great. I picked up a hitchhiker. Okay then, splotch. You know, you guys really aren't living up to the whole scary light. Though I find myself wondering, is this really happening, or is this part of his imagination? I mean, I guess the uh, Denska being an empty town is happening, as well as the purple stuff, maybe? Sure. This looks totally sturdy. That looks safe. Up, oh, do I need to grab it from the other side? Um, I thought I had to climb up the other side. Okay. This looks like did I draw this? I used to draw these things all over town when I was little. But, I don't remember this one. How did it get here? Whoa! Uh, what's going on back there, Splotch? And Spot- is that like a hula skirt that Splotch has got sporting on? Okay then. Try painting the genie body from the top down. All right. Just incredible. Ah, uh, a mass of tendrils. Oh, I really hope I'm not dreaming. Oh. Uh, is this essentially the uh, concrete genie I'm bringing to life? Okay, that actually didn't uh, turn out too bad. Never thought I'd see one life-sized. Whoa, you're alive. Uh, hi there. I feel like their presence on the walls almost kind of makes them feel like one of those. Like if you're going th uh, through like a ride or something, and we're waiting in line, and there's, and they're just kind of there as decoration almost. Uh, huh. Any chance you can help with this? Oh. Whoa. That's one way to do it. Thanks. Fire genies burn red tarps. Good to know. So there's going to be multiple types of genies of which I can interact with. Maybe she can help me get back to Denska. Yes, because when you discover strange magical creatures uh, who you can summon with a giant paintbrush, the first thing you have to worry about is being like, eh, let's, how do I get back home from here? I've got something going on. Oh man, that purple stuff, the darkness. I didn't realize it had gotten so bad. And what if it spreads up here? <laughs>
Ah. And because I've activated the lighthouse. I'm painting lit this part up here in the lighthouse. And thusly, the, the act of art, the act of creating art, uh, is now itself being uh, compared to the idea of bringing light to the darkness. Uh, like you have those... Uh, like the bullies themselves aren't just bullies, but they don't see the value of it. You want me to do that? I paint this whole town back to life. A little bit of unfinished swan. Thing is, I won't be able to do much if I'm still stuck here. Although, much more colorful, as Unfinished Swan focused more on the idea of, like, sp just tossing ink onto the environment and discovering the environment by doing so, which itself was an interesting gimmick. Why, hello there, birds and other birds. I think I need to light up all these bulbs by painting underneath them. Um, we are going to... Add some of that. And maybe some campfire. And maybe some trees. Uh, yeah, okay. It seems as if the fire didn't catch. Um... And... Is, does it, is it sound like he's saying draw? Over and over again. <laughs> Genies are scared of darkness mold. Isn't scared of darkness mold. Oh no, some of that darkness is up here. You can't get past that stuff, huh? Um, so she wants a little bit of a Luna Borealis, yeah, a Luna Borealis, oh. Aurora Borealis. Charging me up somehow? Whoa! Oh, cool! This is like super paint. You are very observant, young Padawan. There. I think that's all of them. Okay, Luna. Coast is clear. All right. That was a lot of light bulbs. And anything on the outside of this lighthouse real quick like before I jump on in. Although interesting how the That's way out is promising. also the way up.
Ah, and this should get rid of, yeah, the purple sludge from the, uh, yes. the tram yard so that I can get out. But alas, it is just a start to freeing the city from the quip of darkness. I'll do it. <laughs> that splotch of paint almost feels like it's trapped there. Also, it kind of makes me wonder if that is a visual indicator of uh, what kind of genies I have currently unlocked. Because right now I know I have the uh, fire genie who's able to... Uh, that's actually a neat way to uh, descend from the lighthouse because it just shows you all the, the variations of art that you uh, had built yourself. And also, I have to give this game props for having a very nice um, backtracking over the material Bye, I've everyone. already passed through. See you later. Instead of making you go back yourself. Um, because there are too many other games where it's like, oh, you're back to this uh, part where you were before. Yeah, we're just going to make you go through it again. Um, for some reason. But yeah, uh, like that gives you this visual indicator of which types of genies you have. So right now I just have the fire genie, which is able to burn things ahead of me. But as I continue on, perhaps then I'll... Blocked by bullies, press right to shove them out of the way. These bullies have become allies of darkness. I will need to defeat them in order to save this town. I can't even remember the last time I spotted a little Cecil the sea lion around here. Alright. Light up all the bulbs in zone one of the fishing port. Is that a newspaper? No, that is not a readable Everyone newspaper. Everyone else might have given up on this town, but I haven't. And I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, got more Concrete Genie coming up tomorrow. Red Dead 2 is always. Uh, Doom Eternal, I think, is still going. Turok is still going. Uh, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.